Hi everyone, it's Maggie and I'm back with part two of my swap with Patrizia, who is Pat S. here on YouTube. And in part two, you're going to see some of the things that uh, she made for me. And the first piece I'm going to show you is the wall hanging. And let me start at the top. This is the altered hanger um, that she used. And she did a beautiful job altering it with different um, trims and clay flowers that I love so well. <laughs> and she made a rosette flower and she used one of the doilies that she crocheted herself and in the middle an acrylic piece, an acrylic rose. And on the back you can see she finished that off also and she finished it off with a flower applique and a dangle piece. And then she used some vintage trim for um, the parts to hang. And I can't get the whole thing in, so I think you can see most of it this way. And she took two square doilies, um, one for each side, and in the middle I believe she used some... Um, either muslin and batting or she used she might have used um, felt and that just makes it nice and sturdy so that when it hangs up it hangs flat and then she covered the square doily with a large Battenberg lace doily and then she used I believe you know smaller and smaller um, you can't see a lot of them but they're there. Here's one doily, here's another, and I believe there's one more under that. And look at this gorgeous little image. She's so adorable. And what she did with that is she padded it and she used flat back pearls going around. And I think underneath that she might have used two different laces, a tiny, tiny lace and a and a tiny um pleated lace and I've never seen one that tiny wow and then um, she added one of the clay flowers in her hair and that just looks so adorable and she used some bridal appliques and some more of the rose um, the clay roses and then she used some flower appliques here and um, used a couple of the um, uh, pearl, flat back pearl um, flower centers. And then here's another one of her um, rosette roses with another flat back pearl in the middle. And then she used dangle laces at the bottom. And I love how that looks. And then at the very bottom, she used two different pieces of, uh, I would believe, that this is an antique piece right here. I think it's antique. It certainly looks like it and feels like it. And another piece here, which I also believe is antique. And they're just gorgeous. I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. And then on the back, you can see this, the square doily, the whole thing here. And it's just beautiful. It really is. I love the wall hanging and I will be hanging it on my uh, wall here in my craft room and I can't wait to do that it is absolutely gorgeous so thank you so much for making that Patrizia really it is gorgeous okay so the next thing I'm going to show you was covered in this vintage curtain and oh my gosh it is beautiful look at that and this is twice the size I have it folded in half so you can see it and this is what she folded her fabric book that she made for me and here is the fabric book and it's just stunning and believe it or not this is her first fabric book that she ever made and I am just so humbled that she sent this to me 
um, I have the first fabric book that I ever made. It's in my hutch, and I honestly, I never thought about giving it up. And without any thought, she made her first one, and, and she sent it to me. So I can't even thank you enough, Patrizia, really. Um, from the bottom of my heart, this is just, it's just amazing. And I know I'm not going to do her pieces justice. And I also know she has videos that she put up where she explains everything that she did on all of the pieces that she sent me. And I'm going to put a link to her channel so that you can go and you can get a much better look at what um, she created and how she created it. So let me just, sh I'm just going to show you slowly, um, page by page, and look at that beautiful image. And again, she um, used some uh, filler in the middle. And I love this little trim that she used around it. And with the, um, the um, bling pieces. And then she made a um well she used a doily behind and then she used actually maybe they're all doilies no i think a couple of them are flower appliques and she built them up to a flower and she did um cut i remember her saying she cut up the doily to make it look like leaves and then here's the dangle from the flower and i love this piece here also around and then you can see she used one, two, three, four, I want to say four or five different layers of um, laces around and underneath, even though you can only see parts of it, she used a beautiful cut work piece here. And then here's the spine, this beautiful piece here with the um, flat back pearl flower trim. And then on the back, she put all um, bridal appliques. And isn't it gorgeous? And then down the bottom, it's just filled with <clears throat> dangle trims. Look at all of those dangle trims. It's just beautiful. And here's the first two pages. I love the images. I just love everything about this book. She used so she went into her hoard vault and used so many of her vintage and antique pieces that she finds in her flea markets in Belgium and it's just it's just amazing. Look at the um butterfly, more bridal applique some um, eyelet lace on here. I know she crocheted these flowers herself. She put Cherish up here. She crocheted this butterfly and look at this beautiful um, pink and green trim. I love that. And this almost looks like a tattered doily underneath here. She used rhinestones in the middle of some little flower appliques. She used, you know, again, several different layers of um, of trims and some more clay flowers. She knows I love those. And then here's the next two pages. And this is a pocket page. And here she made another flower out of appliques and doilies. She made a pocket. Let me just remove this for a second. Here's a gorgeous bridal um, applique here. A Battenberg piece right here. And then inside the pocket, she sent me one of her... Um, Oh, I forget what you call these, but uh, you can pin them to a blouse or a sweater if you want. They can be tiny wall hangings if you want to do that. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at all the layers on this one. <clears throat> and she finished it off. And this is a pin, so I can 
either pin it or I can just hang it on a little nail on my wall and I might do that but I'm gonna leave it in here for a while and then on this page um, she put the image um, encased in this beautiful Battenberg piece and this large butterfly she used some more appliques some more clay flowers she rolled some tiny roses I cannot do rolled roses I've tried and tried and I don't know if it's because my fingers don't work in anymore or I just can't do them but I can't believe how tiny these are and she was able to do that and then this page another pocket page here another pinned piece here look at that they're just gorgeous oh Patrizia I just love them and look at this pocket page. She used a doily, more applique pieces. She used some lace for the um, background. I love this pink and green she used again here. And then here's the image, and she's so adorable. And she's got more appliques. This doily piece, or this might be a trim, I'm not sure. And look at the bow she made out of a doily here, and this beautiful bling piece. And I think I love I love this trim that she used throughout. And I think some people call it the jellyfish trim, and I just love it. I need to get some of that. I just love it. And then, okay, I showed you, um, let me put this back so I don't, there, and then you saw the back of it. So this is the stunningly gorgeous fabric book that she made for me. And then the surprise, because we, um, we decided to do a wall hanging, a small fabric book, and a surprise. And her surprise is this, and it's the a book of laces. And she really did surprise me with this. And on the side, she made this puffed heart. She crocheted it and filled it. And look at the little angel. And she attached it to an altered... Um, close pin and she put dangles on it and she attached it to the side but I'm going to leave it off for now and let me show you this is the front and like I said she has a video so you can you can see in detail what she did here's the side with this beautiful lace that she used top and bottom and then look at these gorgeous bridal appliques she used on the back they've got the softest buttery yellow sequins and she used some metal corners it's just gorgeous and then she used this lace so that I can tie it closed and then you open it up and the first page is a bag a paper bag and she used part of a Battenberg doily She's got a little flower here, some flat back pearl with trim. And then this is, oh, and I gotta fix that because the, um, she used, um, oh, my mind, it just goes blank. Well, anyways, it came off. So I've, all I have to do is, is put some glue back on to hold it together and inside Look at this beautiful applique. And then this one. And then she sent me some um, trim. It's probably a hem piece. And I love these because you can uh, do your own thing on them. You can put whatever you want on them. And I can't wait to play with that. And then, 
Here's the pages with the laces. I think I remember her saying on her video that um, she was inspired or maybe she even used the tutorial for Jeanette who was scrapping Happy XO. Um, hers was the first time I had ever seen a book of laces and um, I always meant to make one and I haven't yet but after seeing Patrizia's here in person I definitely have to try making one of these. Look at the gorgeous trims. I'm going to show you on the other side because I think it's easier and you'll see better. This little, I love these little trims here. It's a um, crochet trim and then this beautiful vintage, they're all vintage or antique. I remember her saying so every single um, lace that she sent me is either vintage or antique and you can almost tell the antique ones. I would um, just about guarantee that these are antique. Look at them. They're two different colors and they're just beautiful flowery um, embroidered pieces. And then this one here, I mean you can just tell Look at how gorgeous. And then this one. And then these three. These two are the same, only different colors. And they have gold in them. They're absolutely gorgeous, Patrizia. And I am going to hoard these myself for a while. And then I, I will use them because they're just too beautiful not to use. As hard as it will be. And then, look at, she made me stick pins. And I'm not going to take them out because I won't be able to get them back in. And it's a magnet closure that I couldn't think of on the other one that I have to fix. But isn't, they're just gorgeous. And I thank you so much, Patrizia. Everything you made me is just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to stop here because um, I saved the last, um, I'm not going to say best for last, but I saved the last because um, it's pieces that she made for me uh, and they're very special because they're handmade. She said she was making me, she was crocheting some uh, doilies for me and that's what she did. And that's what I want to show you. And I want them to have a video of the, their own. And I'm getting on in time anyway. So please, please, I'm so thankful that you've stuck with me for all this time. But please don't miss the last video because when you see the pieces that she made, you, you will be amazed. So thanks everyone for watching and thanks for sticking with me and I will be back very soon with that last video. Thank you Patrizia.